the changing in governance, and uh, when did that become a real part of your life? Uh, you, you know, when I was a child, uh, I was born in 1962, and in 1962, Cherokee Nation did not have um, true self-governance. We had uh, uh, we were in the appointed chief era, where uh, our chiefs were uh, appointed by the United States president, and we did the Cherokee people did not get to pick any other leadership mm -hmm. that uh, represented them. Uh, the uh, in the 1960s, the uh, uh, through the efforts of our uh, uh, representation, like uh, uh, Oklahoma senators, they um, they actually were were very instrumental in making sure to bring back the uh, concept of self governance for the Cherokee people. Well, my grandmother was born in 1911. My granddad, who was a Cherokee as well. He was born in 1907, two weeks after, he was born December 2nd. That is exactly two weeks after Oklahoma became a state, which means exactly two weeks after it quit being the Indian Territory. My granddad and grandma were both very Cherokee people. Uh, and they were both um, uh, born at a time when neither one of them got any land on the allotment mm -hmm. because they were born too late and both of them were born to where they never got to say they were born in the Cherokee Nation mm -hmm. in, in the Indian Territory. Uh, now they never got to pick a leader of the Cherokee Nation until my grandma was 64 my granddad was 68. It was the first time they ever cast mm -hmm. a vote for the people who mm -hmm. led the Cherokee Nation. My grandma, as a child, when I was a kid, uh, 10, 12 years old, she loaded me up in the backseat of the big Buick and drove us to Tahlequah and st to stand on the lawn of what is known as the Cherokee Capitol Building. Uh, Ross Swimmer was declaring he was running for chief. And grandma said, uh, as a 10-year-old, I really wasn't that, that aware of that, what was going on. But she, I can remember her saying, this is something important you need to see. And she said, uh, you will, Cherokee Nation will never prosper until we have the right to self-govern and return to us. Grandma considered that the first free election of the Cherokee Nation mm -hmm. in her lifetime. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so she, she was 64 the first time she cast a vote. She died in the year 2000 I was elected to the Cherokee Tribal Council in the year 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I very much still felt the presence of my grandmother as I took my oath of office in 2015. Very much felt like I was continuing the fire that my grandmother had stoked in me many years earlier, mm -hmm. that self-governance mattered, that, that the Cherokee people needed to, to have the right to make the decisions for the Cherokee people. And uh, I uh, uh, was uh, humbled by that, but uh, it felt very much like uh, I was continuing what my grandmother had taught us, that you, you have an obligation to serve when you're given a chance.